Hey guys, it's Matt from the Rusty Raptor Prop Shop, and today we're going to go over one of the topics we get asked about most often. So when working with resins, a lot of times when clear resins, you'll end up with bubbles inside your castings. Now this is because the bubbles can't escape the thickness of the resin as it's drying. Now most cases you want clear resins like this right here without the bubbles. So how do you get that? Today I'm going to show you how to make a pressure pot that's going to help you keep those bubbles out of your castings. Stick around. Alright guys, today we're going to go over a simple and easy way to make a pressure tank for casting all resins. Now to do that we're going to use a uh, cheap little pressure paint tank from Harbor Freight. It's a two and a half gallon tank and uh, these usually run about $99. If you get them on sale you can grab them in the store with one of their coupons. You can get them down to about $75 which makes it a super simple and cheap way to make sure your resins come out without bubbles. All right guys, this is a super simple process. You're gonna need a few extra parts that didn't come with the actual item itself. Uh, but to get the item ready, what you're gonna do is, get the pressure pot here, turn it upside down. There's this little hose in the inside here that usually helps pull the paint out of the tank when you have it pressurized. Just gonna get a pair of uh, pliers here and get that undone. Now we're not gonna need this for what we're doing. It's also gonna give us more room if we get rid of this pipe. Now you can either throw this away when you're done or just throw it into your parts box like that. The lid spun back over here. Now we have our inlet up here. Uh, we have a little valve down here that will let the pressure out. And then we have where the paint would normally come out right through here. So for this part right here, we actually have a cap that we're just gonna cap this part off. Like that. Uh, on the side up here, we're gonna put a place for your air line to go into to pressurize the tank. Get that screwed on there. And I have thread tape on all this already, so it's gonna be uh, airtight when it goes on there. Tighten that down there. And on the other side over here, you're gonna put a uh, ball valve that you can open and close to let the air out later on. Um, that way when you're doing it, when you wanna open this tank back up, you can just pop that, let the air out slowly, let the pressure go down, you'll be good to go. So get this screwed on here. that. Perfect. Get all these tightened up real here. Now these tanks are rated for 60 PSI. I would suggest not going over 50. You're not gonna need a whole lot more than 50 to get the air bubbles out. And what this actually does is it shrinks the air bubbles so small. It doesn't get rid of them, but it shrinks them so small where they're not visible. So uh, when you're using this, you're gonna hook your air line onto here, watch your gauge, get the pressure to 50 in the tank, and let it set for a while, let the resin go. When you're done, pop this valve on the side over here, it'll let all the air out. You can undo these, which will be tightened down like this. You can just undo those like that right there. Pop those off, open it up, reach in and pull your item out, and you should have a nice clear casting. Now, the one thing uh, to note about these specific tanks here, they do have in the bottom a, uh, a concaved bottom here. So what we suggest to do is to take and cut a, uh, you can cut a piece of wood, acrylic, that kind of stuff that will fit directly down inside there to make the bottom flat so your resin isn't uh, wobbly and that kind of thing. Now if you don't have access to one of those, you want to grab one, we have them on our website. They're actually made out of acrylic. You can just go on there, buy it, and uh, drop it right in there. They're custom cut for the inside of these specific tanks and uh, you'll be ready to go. All right guys, thanks for checking out our quick tip video. If you have more questions, let us know. We'll cover those topics in the future. Make sure to click subscribe down below so you catch our latest videos on prop builds, toy reviews, con reviews, and all kinds of DIY projects that you can do yourself. Make sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram under the Rusty Raptor, and we'll see you next time.